Okay, so I had an awesome experience today. I went to the pet store with my mom to get Rainbow a brand new tank. Here, I'll turn the laptop around so you can see her. Look at that happy gecko glass surfing to get a feel for where everything is. And so, yeah, we went to the pet store to get Rainbow a new tank. And there was a family there who was looking at the lizards and we asked, hey, are you looking to get a pet lizard? And they were like, yeah, we're thinking about it. And I said, oh, that's so cool. I have a pet lizard at home. And the eldest girl there, she looked to be about maybe 13, maybe 12. And she said, hey, what kind of lizard? And I answered, she's a leopard gecko. And that was the kind of lizard they were looking to get. And the girl said, hey, is there anything you could tell me about a leopard gecko so I know how to take care of it? And it was such a great experience for me because I have all this knowledge that I collected on how to take care of my beautiful baby what are you doing? <laughs> of my beautiful baby leopard gecko. And then I got to share that with another aspiring lizard keeper. And that was just such a great experience for me. I was able to give them enough, in it seems like a lot of information, but like when you break it down, it's really easy to take care of a gecko. I was able to tell them what kind of heating to look at, um, what you could feed them, the si tank kind of tank upgrades you need as you go, stuff that I wish someone could have just told me outright instead of having to do all the research. So I thought I might just ramble on a little bit about how I take care of my leopard gecko. So before I got a leopard gecko, I had done a ton of research on what was necessary, what I needed, and the first tank I put together was this little 10 gallon tank. It had reptile carpet, a hide, a skull hide, and the food and water dish. It really wasn't that fancy, but it was, I mean, it also had like, of course, the heating and lighting it needed. So that was her first tank, and as I kept it a little bit longer, I added maybe a bit of sphagnum moss in there, some foliage, like a stick, and a little fake plant. And then, now that she's in her big tank, I have some slate on the bottom because that absorbs heat a lot nicer than the resin does. And, oh my gosh, my mind is going blank now. Stuff to feed them. Live food is ideal, but really you're going to want to, if you don't feel comfortable keeping live insects in your house, freeze-dried crickets and ringworms work just as well. Just make sure you also keep a little dish of calcium and vitamins in there for them. And try to make it big enough that they won't knock it over. I have like a little bottle cap. And Rainbow loves knocking that thing over and making a big mess for me to clean up. But yeah, she's such a sweet little gecko. Maybe if I, the more I learn, I might make another video about this. But God bless you all and love you gremlins.